Some sort of meteorite, maybe? This isn't any regular meteorite. This is a solar flare. We're getting destroyed. Run for the ship. The humans jumped onto a spaceship to escape from Earth and the solar flares. One spaceship with experts flew ahead of the rest to build a new colony on Mars. Let's start brainstorming ideas. How are we going to house it? What about a hexagon tiered style building? This is my Art Deco model in the Tinkercad software seen in green. It is our planning artifact. We have to be self-sufficient. We have to have a food production unit and an energy production unit in our building. The building will have a geometric cubism art pattern that matches with the Art Deco architecture. We did it! We're the first humans colonizing Mars! Let's wear our monitors so that our pilot and biochemist can watch us as we scout Mars. Look! I see a tree trunk! There seems to be life on Mars. Well, doesn't the shape look like a Chrysler building in New York? Yes, the tree seems to have a streamlined linear tiered trunk. And it is hexagonal in shape. And the bark has chevron and zigzag arrangement. Yeah, trees in Mars definitely look weird. It's a solar flare! Oh no, they got hit by solar flares. Why is our spaceship so big? Scans suggest the atoms have been shrunk even smaller than they already are, and now they're about the size of molecules. What is happening? We've lost contact. We are shrinking and getting sucked like a vacuum cleaner. Where are we? Look at the heavy machines. They will grind us. Ha, ah, we've trapped you guys. Now we have a supply of carbon dioxide. It's enough to feed my whole entire tree, and we'll make sure that you guys don't flee. We sucked you up because you were small. You were small enough to go through our cell wall. Where are we? You are inside a plant cell, and we're the organelles. What are organelles anyways? Organelles are plant cell parts. We function so that the plant does not fall apart. We sucked you up with our special doors and windows. You gave us carbon dioxide, so you're the real heroes. Plant cells on Mars use art. Deco, we mimic the buildings on Earth just like an echo. This tree has a hexagonal shape. It really fits into the Martian landscape. Plant cells are long and linear and house the important parts, or very geometric and don't have many warts. A tree bark is made of awesome glazed bricks. A hard exterior provides for a handful of tricks. These cubes represent cubism art. It clearly depict every cell part. They work together in harmony. They have no animosity. Yeah, all these are Art Deco features. We see this in many buildings in New York City, but I never imagined it in a Martian plant. But how would a tree survive on Mars? How do you produce food and energy? Our doors and windows, they rotate. We get plenty of sunlight through the gate. Our chloroplast organelle makes food. We feel great. Our mitochondria organelle makes energy. We function straight. Wasn't this something we were discussing in our spaceship? Yes, with our Tinkercad planning artifact. Let's try to sneak out. I'm so sorry, you can't leave. You're the only CO2 we receive. Let's go rescue our friends. What if we get trapped too? Don't worry, I have a plan. We come in peace. We want to offer our hands and friendship. Will you please give us shelter in exchange for carbon dioxide? Now you're talking, we make it popping. Can we bring our friends too? We've provided shelter for millions of years. Of course, of course we'll volunteer. So we don't have to take the trouble of rebuilding our whole colony. Well, would you know that a plant cell would save the day? In the next few months, more humans landed on Mars and found shelter, food, energy, and Art Deco plant cells spread all over Mars. A new partnership was formed between the humans and plants, 